The new KPI X5 News at 7 starts right now with that news conference that just wrapped up on the Garlic Festival shooting. Good evening, I'm Ken Bastida. I'm Elizabeth Cook. About 15 minutes ago, the family of 13-year-old Kayla Salazar, who died in the shooting, spoke about the unimaginable loss. Kayla was a beautiful children that really cared for other people, and she cared about animals, and she was our motivation. And we're in pain that we lost her. Thank you so much from the bottom of our heart. KPI X5's Kit Doe is live where that press conference just took place moments ago. Kit? Yeah, very, very emotional press conference. In fact, when we saw the family approaching, we could hear them sobbing in the parking lot as they met up with visitors on their way in. So again, very, very emotional out here at East San Jose. Uh, Kayla's aunt and uncle spoke. The family wore white homemade t-shirts bearing the phrases, I love Kayla and rest in paradise. The executive director here at Kayla's old school, the Ace and Power Academy, says that they're devastated. She was a smart, beautiful, vibrant young woman taken from the community far too soon. And so the family right now is holding a private public vigil that is open to the public but is closed to the media. There has been a huge outpouring of support from the community. They wanted to do this to thank the community. And here is a scene earlier today at the family house in East San Jose. At the Salazar family house, a steady stream of volunteers, food, drinks, love, and tears. <laughs> Kayla's aunt said the family is devastated, still in shock. Her father has locked himself inside a room and that they've made no funeral plans because everyone is at a loss of what to do. Giordano Pimentel says they're close like brothers and sisters and that the family has lost their angel. We can't believe it. The purest member of the family just passed away. That's unbelievable. When the shooting began, the family became separated in the chaos, and Kayla was last seen helping a relative who walked with a cane. The family agonized for hours, not knowing what happened, until a 2.30 a.m. call from the coroner's office. I promised her that I was going to be the one protecting her at any moment on everything. And the, the single day that I don't go with her, this has to happen. It's just painful. It's so... You can't really describe how bad it hurts. A GoFundMe page has raised nearly $60,000. Giordano says the community outpouring of support has deeply touched the family. It's just unbelievable. I'm so thankful. Um, and I think she deserved it. And this vigil is attended by at least several hundred people. Uh, right now, set to go until 8.30 tonight. The uh, director of the school said to give the family time and space to process this tragedy. We're live in East San Jose. Kit Doe, KPIX 5.